Hello orchid friends and succulent friends and hiking friends and nature friends in general. I hope there will be something for every one of you in this video. A little disclaimer, I am not a botanist who could identify plants reliably, so please only eat and apply plants that you know for sure yourself. Unfortunately, we were a bit late to hike in this area for the orchids, because they had already faded. But I have pictures of previous years, and I hope you will enjoy those. I don't know much about the native orchids, and that's a pity. But I'm more into tropical orchids and not so much into the native terrestrial species. Maybe you can help me to identify the plants that I saw. Please let me know in the comment section if you know a name for a plant. The first part of the video will be completely below the tree line and the second part will be above the tree line. Here you see silver thistles, I find them so beautiful and they were everywhere. We collected blueberries and also raspberries and with both of them you have to be careful because there are a lot of maggots in them when they are too ripe. These cows had a beautiful view, but they had to endure those loud cowbells day in and day out. Can they even sleep? I really hope they are not bothered by them too much. What do we have here? A bee or a bumblebee? I think this plant is toxic also for cows and they were just nearby. A little froggy, but it was too fast and too small. I couldn't catch it on camera properly. After a quite extensive cuddling session, she followed us. 
I don't know, maybe one or two kilometers. This plant is actually a medicinal plant. It can be applied if you have been stung by a bee or something like that. And it's also good as a tea when you have a respiratory infection. Here you see the maggots. They are very small, but numerous. I checked every single raspberry for them. And we try to make pancakes. But they were quite tasty, anyway. And here comes the second part of the video above the tree line. Very beautiful as well. When we arrived, we met these goats. They were so cute. The glaciers were nearby. It was pretty cold. Isn't that beautiful? Those little pink flowers. And there were also seed pots. The silver thistles close their blooms when it's too wet and too cold. I just love them, especially when insects are feeding on them. They are so beautiful. I really hope you enjoyed this video, although it was another hiking video. But hiking is also a passion of mine and I just wanted to share these pictures with you. Until next time, happy growing or hiking. Bye bye.